Historically speaking, I've never been much of a milk and cookies kind of guy. But Pepsi's got my attention with <laughs> Pilkin cookies. What is Pilkin cookies, you ask? Maybe you've already seen the ad campaign with Lindsay Lohan, who is arguably more gorgeous than I am and funnier, but also not a Pepsi YouTuber, so I got her then. Pilkin cookies, Pepsi, milk, pilk. Um, if you've heard of like Utah Dirty Soda, <clears throat> where they mix the Diet Coke with uh, like coconut coffee creamer, which I've done on the channel before, that's that's a thing. This is their take on it. So let me show you what they got here. Hope none of this falls out. Pepsi Pilkin cookies. You got your Pepsi. You pour that in the glass. Provide your own milk. And then you dip your cookies in. So this is really cool. Um, they sent me all these cards as well with their own recipes. Like, I'm gonna do another video if you wanna see me make all these. I got all the ingredients except for one. Um, I got all these recipes. They use Nitro Pepsi, Wild Cherry Pepsi, different kinds of milk, different creamers. Only one I can't do is the, uh, which one is it? This one, the Nutcracker, because I'm allergic to almonds. But that uses almond milk. I'll do something similar. Uh, I don't know, looks cool. It's got these cookies from Dirty Cookie, whatever that is. I'm sure they're delicious. Can't wait to try them. So first off, just for this video, I'm gonna make you some Pilkin cookies. Again, I, I don't have the movie pedigree of Lindsay Lohan or the Santa outfit, but I will do my best. You were clearly on the naughty list. You don't get her today, you get Poppy, but we'll make our, we'll make the best of that. I'll be right back with the uh, Pilkin cookies. Now Pepsi says the ideal ratio is 60 to 70% Pepsi, with 30 to 40% milk. So, I'm gonna do six ounces of Pepsi and four ounces of milk. It doesn't say what kind of milk to use. Uh, all the recipes do in my next video, I'll have the right kinds of milk. For this one, I'm going whole milk. I'm a whole lot of poppy, whole lot of flavor, whole milk. So, I'm gonna crack our Pepsi here. I got the measuring cup, we're being real scientific with it. This is just your regular standard Pepsi. And you can't see the measuring, but I'm going six ounces. There are ways to go to get there. And again, you don't actually have to measure this out. You can do it rough to what tastes good to you. Eyeball it. Doesn't really matter. And you can make this, right? So we'll play around with it, figure out what you like. But I got six ounces here. That's not gonna fill the glass, but I don't feel like doing math right now. So, we'll experiment at the end. It's, uh, it's got our milk. I had to get milk just for this. I don't drink milk, I don't use milk. I don't know. I'm lactose intolerant. I guess that kind of plays into it. Okay, it's about four ounces. I love milk, don't get me wrong. And I'll show you, I'll do the pour. Gorgeous, right? Now this one is very heavily, heavily milk looking. I'm doing that right? I can math. 10 ounces is 100%, so six ounces is 60%. Four ounces is 40%. Yeah. All right, let's give it a shot this way. Cheers, guys. Pilkin cookies. Did I do something wrong? It's good. It tastes heavily of milk, though. I want a little more Pepsi flavor. So I like the 70-30 ratio, but I'm just going to Pepsi it up. There we go. And then we gotta get our cookie out. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Um, the concept's weird to people, so I could see you wanting more milk, but I think less, less is more for this. So I'm gonna put even more Pepsi in. Even more. It's got that nice brown color to it. 
Actually, that's really good. I'm going to put even more in. Because let's be real. What tastes better, Pepsi or milk? Pepsi every day, right? So, we have our pilk. We have our pilk, which is a funny word. Reminds me of, I think that was his name. There was a book I read as a kid. It was The Adventures of Captain Underpants. I think it was by Dave Pilkey. I'm drinking Pilkey. <laughs> uh, they sent some cookies. I think I showed you from Dirty, Dirty Cookies or something like that. The other ones have Nutella, which is hazelnut, and I am allergic. Um, I could probably get away with a few bites and be okay, but for the sake of not dying for Pepsi, don't get me wrong, it's one of the brands I would probably, probably die for. <laughs> I, uh, I'm gonna try this guy. I don't know what it is. No way. There's a hole. I think I'm supposed to put the drink in the cookie. Oh, this is gonna be messy. Oh, okay. Okay, this is cool. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting this. Yeah, we're definitely gonna spill. Ooh, 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 ooh. Poppy, you don't usually pour things on camera. No. And you see why now. I don't know, I don't know how to eat this. I think you, you drink the soda out of it for a bit, and then you, then you dip it. I, I don't, I'm really confused, but I'm very intrigued. So now you get this cookie taste, this chocolatey cookie taste in there. As you sip your pilk. You know what? Let's be a little more scientific about this. Pour pilk into here. Okay. Clean pilk later. Uh, voila. Problem is, I've got a lot of foamy pilk. This is good. This is really good. How's the cookie? Mm. That's really good. What is it? It's a chocolate chip cookie shot from Dirty Cookie. I didn't pick up on the whole shot part. Yeah, that's all foam. I need less foam. Cool thing is, now the inside is soaked with milk. Sorry guys, I'm having too much fun with this. Um, I'll go figure this out on my own, but that's a good combo. That does taste really good. Go give it a shot if this at all interests you. Pepsi, milk, cookies. It's right on the glass. Pilk and cookies. I'm Poppy. This is Poppy Eats. Thanks for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more like this. Um, it's usually fast food stuff, but there's cooking and there's sodas and there's me giggling trying to eat cookie shots. Always a good time. Appreciate you being here. Y'all take care.